Good morning, my name is Edward Horswell and I'm director of the Sladmore Gallery in London. The, the gallery specializes in 19th and 20th century sculpture, which fortunately for me is something that I love. Uh, my father and mother began as collectors back in the 1960s, so really I grew up uh, in my home around, surrounded by wonderful uh, sculptures. So I suppose you could say that it's in my blood. The, there seems to be a disparity between the prices of sculpture and paintings, with some exceptions. For example, the world record uh, price of an artwork at auction was briefly for Giacometti's Walking Man at around $100 million. But in the main, sculpture tends to sell uh, at a discount to paintings. Uh, this, I suppose, is because, generally speaking, sculptures are from an addition. So you have more than one piece, which maybe if you add up the value of the whole addition, then sculptures are more expensive than paintings. Uh, in any event, this disparity, uh, I think, is gradually changing. And we are seeing people prepared to pay similar prices for the best sculpture. However, they have to be assured of the absolute highest quality of the bronze, the authenticity of the bronze. People often ask how come the Sladmore Gallery has animal sculpture and human sculpture? And historically, my father and mother, alongside their collection of bronzes, they had a zoo. So uh, the fields around our house were filled with birds and animals and they had a deep love of animals. This was followed through into their collecting, which was entirely animals. And subsequently, the gallery was specializing in 19th century animalier sculpture, and later, early 20th century, with the works of Rembrandt Bugatti and Francois Pompon. When I became the director of the gallery in 1985, uh, I decided that we should broaden our outlook, as I have a love both for uh, animals but also for the human form so today we specialize in early 20th century figurative sculpture Rodin, Mayol and other of the leading masters of that period but we don't really specialize in 19th century sculpture that's reserved for the animalier department I think that uh, today, if one is looking for an area where prices are rising particularly fast, this could be the lesser known artists working around Bugatti and Pompon. Artists such as Goggio, Sandoz, Guillot, and uh, I think you have the opportunity to buy pieces now in a fast moving market.